guys. Merry Christmas. I can't believe the day is finally here. And I hope you guys had a wonderful, magic, magical Christmas Eve and Christmas morning. I can't believe the day is already here. I feel like, you know, this is my favorite time of year. I look forward to this day. And I just enjoy the season overall. And then once Christmas comes, it's always a little bit of sweet. Because, you know, it's the day we've been looking forward to all year long. Um, and now it's here and it's fading fast, so I'm trying to enjoy it. I've been, I'm sitting here on the floor, but I've just been looking at the fireplace and the Christmas tree, enjoying the twinkle and the glow, because I feel like I never stop to really, I don't know, just like really look at the Christmas decor and really like be grateful for it and just enjoy it and soak it all in. So I've been sitting here for the past like five minutes or so, just sitting here looking at the Christmas decor and it's bringing so much Christmas joy. Um, this year, uh, things are gonna be a little different, because now that my siblings and I are older, so my stepmom, around 7 o'clock, um, I believe she's in the shower, actually, right now. So, like, after 7 o'clock, because it's practically 7 o'clock right now. Uh, but we're gonna make breakfast for everybody, and I have a nice, um, tablescape breakfast display going on, um, which I'll share with you guys, and then, um... Obviously, after we eat, we're going to open up gifts and everything, and it's just going to be a really nice, enjoyable time. I have my gifts. I wanted to wake up with the gifts that I got under the tree over there, so I need to bring them down this morning. And I thought it'd be nice to take you guys along on just a nice, cozy Christmas day vlog and sharing with you what I got for Christmas. That was the whole original plan for this video, because last year I did a What I Got for Christmas, and I thought I'd do it again this year, but do it in the style of a Christmas vlog. And I hope you guys enjoy it. This is not meant for me to brag. I didn't ask for anything grand for Christmas. It's purely just me taking you guys on my Christmas day. I mentioned, but after breakfast and everything, I share with you what I got for Christmas. Here at my dad's house, I'm going to get ready, then pop over to my mom's house and do Christmas all over again there, and again, share with you what I got christmas there and just take you guys along for the day so i'm gonna sit here for another minute to enjoy the christmas tree and then i'm gonna head on downstairs the snow is falling and it's getting colder now soon that time of year it will begin the children playing making angels in the snow this is what I'm going with. I'm the football, OJ. I probably see up on both ends. We're gonna do like cinnamon waffles, pan Grinch pancakes, sausage and bacon, muffins. Um, yeah. Grab the mistletoe. It's Christmas time again. When bells start ringing. And the lights start going up, I get to thinking about my oldest friend. I'll hang some holly on the door when they come. It won't be long. It's Christmas time again. Let's spend the whole day. Well, guys. It has been several hours since I've last spoken to you guys, and I didn't do a lot of vlogging and filming. I mean, that was kind of expected, but I did get a few shots of, like, the table and doing a little bit of prep work, but it's a really nice morning. We had a lot of fun baking, not baking, but cooking, making breakfast, and then it was really nice. I had so many different foods. I had plenty to eat, um, and then we opened gifts, and it was just really, really fun, and now I'm back in my bedroom and just... Soaking up the Christmas. I love this background so much. Um, but I thought I would share with you guys what I got for Christmas. Uh, so let's get started. Starting with my stocking here. I don't use these ones. These are just for looks. I have this little stocking here, which I think is just a really good stocking. Um, I'll just a little sign out. Right, we can't start off a stocking without some candy. Got a whole bunch here. We got, um, uh, like these little snowman ones. Uh, these little candies. I love these so much. They're so good. This one is dark chocolate sea salt. I have, um, where's this one? This one is milk chocolate. I also got some, um, some of these chocolates too. Ooh, didn't mean to drop that. Um, um, but yeah, I got some dark chocolate. I got some dark peppermint chocolate. I got some rabbit. 
Are you the peppermint bark? What is? I got a Starbucks gift card, um, which I don't drink Starbucks a lot. Um, I got a caramel one of these Santas, um, uh, caramel one of these flavors as well. I also have a peppermint of the snowman. So yeah, a whole bunch of chocolate. But like I said, what's a stocking without chocolate? Um, I also got a little gnome snow globe to add to the collection of snow globes I got going on. I'm trying to collect snow globes. Um, and then just got, I always get like a bunch of random, just like kind of a miniature travel size things. So we got some Q-tips, deodorant. Um, and I did also get some of these mints, which I love these mints. I got some of the cubed gum. What else? Let's see. I got some chapsticks. I always lose my chapstick and always need a chapstick. So I got three more, which um, is great. We got uh, winter green strawberry and fresh cherry are the flavors here. Um, so it's always good to have more chapstick. Um, I have this really nice, don't love the outside bag as much, but um, my stepmom had one of these and I feel like I need one of these because at school I always use plastic silver and throw it away every single day, which is so bad for the environment. So I have this really um, heavy duty silver set. She has the black one, so I got the silver one so we don't mix it up. Um, but we have things like this, which I probably honestly won't use this at school. Um, Cause this silver, it's real like silverware, like metal dish set, but it comes with like a steak knife. It comes with salt and pepper containers. It comes with, you know, a fork and a spoon and a butter knife. It comes with, um, a collapsible metal straw so really good for the environment i did feel better because i like, always felt so bad how i was always using plastic silverware every single day um it's just so bad for the environment and i also got this little like i don't know kind of like cologne or deodorant it's like the dry spray stuff this stuff actually smells really good i keep dropping things my goodness but um yeah i just thought i don't know they just always give me a bunch of different little travel things with it. It's really nice. And then this brand, it's like really good, like nice quality stuff. I don't, I need to look into this. I don't even know. Ice, Ice Low, I don't know. Established 1838 Apothecaries Conditioner and it smells so good. It's like lavender peppermint. Um, oh, I don't know, it just smells so good and I have three bottles of conditioner and three bottles of shampoo. So I have plenty to last me for days. And what else? I also got a couple um, body washes. Um, again, just travel size, good to have. You know, I also have two homes. So, you know, have some at both houses is always good. And then this isn't like super exciting, but I did get one of these um, folders that holds like your insurance and registration. And um, again, nothing too special, but I do need one of these instead of them um, pieces of paper floating in my car. So, um, good to have. My grandmother sent that. me this whole box. It's a little disheveled because I've already, you know, opened everything up of just different little Christmas gifts and things because um, she knows how much I love Christmas. So, let's see. I got, and also other things not Christmassy. Um, one being this um, mug that says, you know, I love New York um, Museum of Broadway. This is like a brand new museum apparently in there. It, I have not been. She went recently, just a couple months ago. I want to go so bad. So it's definitely on my to-do list. I want to I wanna go to New York City again so bad. So she brought me back this little souvenir, which makes me really happy because it makes me feel like I was there. But I want to go to New York City so bad. I'm hoping that can be in 2023 maybe be a little goal of mine to spend a whole weekend in New York City doing a whole bunch of things, going to see Broadway, staying in a nice hotel, going out to dinner, out to breakfast, going to the museum. Um, definitely a goal of mine. And then also this really beautiful, like, it's kind of like a little vintage bell, if you will. I mean, it's from 2015, but um, a lot of good things actually kind of happened in 2015, but it's just a very beautiful bell, if you can tell, like, just from, like, the detailing on it. Um... I don't know, it's like a really nice bell and just another little Christmassy thing to add to my collection and the boxes. I always love good packaging. If you know me, I love good packaging. So I definitely appreciate the quality of this box. Um, 
And then, I also got this, like, little wooden, um, star, which is kind of cool. I can, like, hang it this way, or I can also hang it this way. So, I thought just another cool little thing that I could hang it somewhere. I don't know where I would put it, but, um, it's just another little cool little knick-knack thing she found. Um, same with this, like, kind of little plate tray thing, which is this one here. Um, it's just gold. But it is nice to little try. I mean, it fits the vibe of my room, you know, it matches like the bells. So, just another little, again, knick-knack thing to have. Oh, and then she also got me this, which is from, uh, also from that museum. Um, just a little journal notepad. Um, I don't know what I would use this. I don't know if this would become my planner for you. Uh, YouTube things for note taking. Um, maybe I will end up using it in school. I don't know, but it's really neat and I do love it. Uh, yeah, I could start using it for planning my vacations, things in here. So many potentials, which I, I love. And I also got this really neat little vintage. If you have ever have one of these, you know, like these, like, I don't even like ceramic, but like there's this specific kind of ceramic and it's like the kind that has like the little box too that opens up inside it's just so cool and i don't know i just love vintage knickknacks especially when it comes to christmas so love this little guy um and is that everything that was everything Next, from by the way, that i have like a whole pile going on right there and now the, the aftermath <laughs> um right there but next i have this whole box forgot to ask for this. It's a huge kit of cleaning uh, car supplies. Um, I have a whole bunch of other cleaning supply stuff. I was going to do a video and then that video failed. So I definitely want to do one this year. But I have a whole bunch of cleaning supplies from Chemical Guys, which is really cool. It seems like a really good quality. It seems like to be the one really big and kind of only brand for car stuff. But this isn't from them, but it comes with a whole bunch of tools i have to rewatch the video um and find out on um amazon i found this off of amazon so if you want this um it's right on amazon but it comes with these little sponge pads again i'm not quite sure i feel like used for cleaning the tires or something um i have one of these like squeegees um you know like that with the gas stations which is really nice for when i go to clean my car um it'd be nice to have one of these guys and then got one of these little like dusters i think you kind of use it like any little vents um, in your car, and I got a whole bunch of tools too that, like, I think I'm meant to test or drill. This one isn't, but I think this is for cleaning, like, the tires, if I remember correctly. Um, but then same with all these different parts. See, they have, like, the little, like, nub, um, meant to go on a drill, so they're, like, power tools. It's got a whole bunch of different, um, ones. And then also have this little pick thing that is meant to be used for like picking out rocks and things that may get stuck. Um, I don't really know what this is. Some wire brushes, three different types. Um, got a nice little microfiber cloth. We got orange on one side and gray on the other side. And then I have, I do have one of these mitts and I love them so much, but the one I have is huge and it just mop. It makes it, it gets really heavy when it's wet and it's really hard to use. So I'm happy that I have a smaller one now. Um, make it a little easier to use. Um, and also came with these different brushes. Again, I think we're kind of cleaning the tires, like the bolts and things. Um, and also, which is always really nice as far as like, organization goes, came with a bag, which is a weird shape right now, but came with a bag, which I thought, you know, was really nice. So this is the brand, by the way, if you want to look it up. Um, but yeah, I got a whole bunch of car supplies, which is great, because I'm trying to grow my, grow my collection, um, because I enjoy detail, deep cleaning my car, but now I have all these things, and I can, and I have them f with me forever, so I don't have to, uh, you know, pay somebody to do it, I can do it So, myself. from my, my grandmother who got me the other bus stuff, she got me a pair of shoes from J. Crew, um, and it's a pair, like, of, um, kind of, like, nice boots, um, I don't know. So they're really really nice and i'm excited to wear them um i i'm always trying to grow my collection of shoes because i feel like i don't have a lot but i thought these are really nice simple and i love that they're brown they work for really all seasons you know winter fall um yeah all the time 
But yeah. Got a pair of shoes. Alright, so from um aunt and uncle, um I got they gave me uh this goes around your steering wheel. It's one of these like grippy things and this makes me so excited because it looks so fancy. It's black and gray, it fits perfectly with the theme of my car and I just like love how fancy and sleek it looks because no, I, I've talked about getting like LED lights and things just to add to my car to make it um, just more fun and more personalized and just a cooler car. So I'm really excited that I got this and it's kind of hard to see the detail, but I don't know. I'm really excited to use this and add it to my car. Another thing that I got from my grandmother and um, grandfather is um, this charger for dual things for your phone your watch, and my AirPods, which I have all three of these things, so that's why I got one of these, which is pretty uh, sweet, and I'm really happy to have one of these, um, because I do, I have an Apple Watch, and um, I only have the one charger that came with it, so I'm pretty happy that it has this, because now this can leave me here at my mom's house, and I can keep my charger at the other house, um, wherever I keep to leave this, which is, again, pretty nice, and that way I can charge everything at once, because usually I've been doing this thing why I go to I plug my Apple Watch when I get ready for bed and then like I'll put it on and then in the morning when I wake up I plug it in again since I've been using because I only have one USB block so it's been a lot of hassle going back and forth so I'm really happy to um, have this to use nice little piece of tech um, I also have this shirt I got kind of Christmassy um, this is red a little bit of yellow white and blue um, but I do like a good little plaid, especially because it seems kind of nice and on the holiday side, which I actually may end up wearing today. We shall see. I have a different one, but I could actually wear this today. Um, but anyhow. And then I also got this little, um, white and blue stuff. This I do love, like, not like, you know, Maine, Connecticut, not Con mm, kind of Connecticut, Nantucket, you know, that vibe. So whenever I do go there. Now I have a nice little shirt, that's what this reminds me of, which makes me pretty happy. And then from my stepbrother, I have a wax candle melter. He got me three new scents, got butter maple, um, which smells absolutely divine, a vanilla cookie crunch, which any sort of vanilla scent always smells so good. And so I'm really excited to burn this one in particular. And then I got this um, wild berries cheesecake. Um, this, this, these, all these things I just want to eat, which is not good, because obviously these aren't edible. Um, so, these would def these definitely make me hungry just looking at them and reading the labels. And sorry, I'm trying to hold them up here, but these are all the three different scents you got me, which I'm really happy and excited to use. Again, trying to grow that collection, because I have a few, just not a ton. And then my stepsister, not... Sorry, not stepsister, blood related sister, um, got me this really cool vintage red truck. She said there's a red and a white one, and uh, she almost got me the white one, but the white one would have ended up at my mom's house because I don't usually decorate with white, but it fits perfectly in my theme here. You know, I thought I could put it by the fireplace or something. So I'm excited to sell with us next year, and she's like, oh, there's nothing in here, but I'm like, oh, stuff. She's like, oh, it's just filler. I'm like, she's like, I couldn't open it, there's nothing in there, but sure enough, I untie it because it was simply tied. I opened it up, and inside, well and behold, is cookies, which I feel they should have on the tag, um, but I don't know, which cute little bonus, I got some cookies, which is pretty sweet, and then I saved the best, sorry, I have to adjust, I'm getting uncomfy, I had to save the best for, uh, save the best gift for last, this is also something I asked, and I am nervous, because right now, I have been filming all my videos on my iPhone, which right now, actually, the quality, the lighting is really good, and especially because I, I started off using an iPhone 7, which was not great quality at all, and then I don't know if I filmed any videos on my iPhone 10, but I now have an iPhone 13, and the quality of the camera is really, really good, especially now that I there's a little option I can click now to make the quality even better that I've been using. But I asked for a camera for Christmas, and I... Now, it's definitely not the most high-end and most expensive camera, so that's why I am slightly cautious, but from all the research I could do as far as, like, the lower-end um, pricing, um, this is an Ultra 4K digital camera, um, and it comes with uh, two different lens... 
lenses. Um, I was like zooming in. So I got this little camera, which I'm so excited to use. But then to go with that, as I did get myself a nice microphone to go on top of the camera because I was kind of nervous about the audio and maybe not being the best. So I'm hoping and really excited to test this out. And I'm hoping in the next video, guys, you see we'll be on this camera. I can figure it out um, because the whole editing process has always been a pain and I kind of have figured it out and now I got myself this. So hopefully everything, cross my fingers, I don't want to jinx it and knock on wood, goes well and I will love this so much, but I'm so happy. This is definitely the thing I am most excited about using um, this year for Christmas. Alrighty, so I'm all dressed now. Cut the hat on. I thought it was be able to change my shirt, uh, you know, put on some real pants now, but now I'm packing up my bag and um, I got things semi put away, you know, got a pile, uh, all the gifts kind of shoved in my Christmas tree when I come back tomorrow or a few days or whenever I come back from my mom's house, but it's currently 11 50, uh, 10 50, sorry, not 11 50. I need to leave by. 11.15, so I'm like 25 minutes, so I need to finish getting ready, um, kind of pack everything up, and then we'll head on over to my mom's house. Oh, oh, the oh, what did you do for the I texted him on Insta, and then... And it has yet again been several hours since I've last seen you. I, again, did not film, like, any clips. I think I got one clip, but it's hard because it is family time, you know, I'm trying to just enjoy being with my family, you know, opening gifts, blah, 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 all those things when I see people's reactions to, like, gifts I got them, that kind of whole thing. So I didn't really film anything. We are going to do dinner later on tonight, so I may get some clips then. But anyhow, I'm back here at my mom's house, and so I'm going to start the haul, starting with me stocking. So, well, let's but I did get socks. I mean, it's bound to be expected to get stocks and stocking, but I did ask for socks, and these seem to be, like, really nice quality ones. I really like how they feel, and they're, like, the high ankle kind of socks, which are my favorite kind, and these are, like, not really thin or anything. They're nice and thick, so these would be good, hopefully, for all the seasons. Um, another little thing I got is this, um, dishcloth. This kind of like a sponge. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, seen these, and I've never used them before, so I'm very curious to see like if i like it because to me i feel like i wouldn't but again i've never used it so i don't know but she got it for me only because it is a fox print and i can save it for one of these days when i move out and have my own space so and i do have a couple other things like i have a kitchen hand towel and like a dish soap or maybe just a bar soap in general um so a couple of little things like that that she's gotten me just so i can hold on to which i'm really excited uh to use that someday in the future i also have are these I think these are stickers, or, um, I'm pretty sure my mom said they're actually, like, gift labels, even though they don't say tune from, but they kind of look like they're gift tags, you know, which match perfectly with my countdown advent, um, little scenery, like, the exact, like, same brand, I think, I'll show a clip, but they're just so beautiful, I have this thing for foxes, you will notice, Especially, again, if you saw my bed to decorate, you kind of would have noticed I have a little bit of a fox theme going um, on. As you can see, it's already starting. But I do love foxes, so my mom knows that always gives me so many fox things, which I love. Another thing I did ask her was this motion sensor light to go in this closet here, because I want to do a bit of a bedroom makeover, so just refresh. I'm just going to add this light into that closet, get some... Add some new artwork, new decor pieces, change up the style a little bit, plus I have some DIY. Kind of hence the tape on the door. So I got several pieces that kind of go along with that. Oh, and then here's my ornament. Again, a fox. He's just a cute little, like, handcrafted little uh, guy. And he would work perfectly on this Christmas tree. Um, but I may end up putting him on the family tree. We'll see. A pack of gum. Um, I love these dark chocolate-covered espresso beans. Mm. My absolute favorite. Ooh, and they're from L.A. Bean. Cool. Um, I love these so much. I had some and I recently, but I since then devoured them. Just a random fox sticker. Could add this to my computer, maybe. My car, even. Um, and then I got this handcrafted, um, carved little wooden fox. Again, so absolutely adorable. This guy may end up staying out all year round because he would work now for my winter woods. Theme, but I feel like you would work all year round as well. 
but yeah, I thought he was just so cute. Um, and just, again, Fox, which I love. Um, and lastly, a candle. Um, because I do have one candle that I really do like, but I'm starting to get kind of low on it. It's called Cozy Cabin, and it does smell really good. It's like, I don't know, it's a perfect subtle, it's definitely a holiday scent. But also it doesn't have to be, and it has the wooden wick, which makes that, you know, a lovely little crackling noise and like a low. So it's so, oh, it just smells so, so good. That was everything from the stocking. All right. One thing I got, um, I kind of saw this on Amazon and I wanted it was this editing day mug because, you know, doing YouTube and editing it. And I love this size. It's like the perfect size little mug. It's small, but not too small. And it's not like a huge mug because I don't usually drink a bunch of coffee or cocoa or whatever so i thought this was perfect and like how this editing day um kind of fits my vibe and um kind of random but my mom has always had in her car a flashlight that is hand crankable um so you know you don't have to rely on batteries so if you get stuck on the side of the road and you need a flashlight and my car actually does have a flashlight in it but it needs batteries and the batteries actually got all grody so i have to like I don't think I've replaced the flashlight with proper batteries, but I feel like you have that problem is you have a flashlight in your car for years, you know, and never use it. And then when you go to use it, the batteries are all yucky. So here is a flashlight. It's also solar powered, um, but you just crank it to give it charge and power, which I think is amazing. Um, again, something my mom always had in her car. And so it's, now that I have a car, I want one. So got this one when it says black and silver which matches the theme of my car um another thing is i got some driving gloves i i was thinking more like leather ones but these work because they're a nice thin they have some nice um padding and they're so comfortable because the inside is like this kind of like fuzzy for i don't know if you can tell um but it's perfect because i was trying to use mittens because guys it is so cold where we live and sometimes you just need gloves so um, for the car, especially because my hands can tend to get really cold. And I was trying to use mittens, which was really hard, so I'm hoping that these gloves will work, especially because I have a little bit of gripping on the fingers. But they feel so soft and cozy, and I'm just so excited to use them. Um, another sticker, which I'll probably put on my car. I actually have a little collection. I don't want to go crazy with stickers, but I do have a couple. And this is one I was thinking of putting on. This says, uh, new driver, please be kind. And it's just this cute little guy. Um, I thought it was kind of funny. Um, that was gifted to me. Another thing was this. Um, this is hand, this is a handmade like craft, and it's just I don't know if you can tell the quality of this thing, but it is so beautiful and just you know it, this was hand stitched, um, and it's very beautiful. Again, it has it fits in with my Christmas theme. I think this is supposed to be like sitting on a table. I could even put it this on the top of my Christmas tree. I just thought of that. I thought it was a party hat at first, but it's not. It's just a little table decor. Um, so this could end up on my Christmas tree or something. I think that I think it's just a really beautiful, unique pieces. And my mom is always really good about getting like not only like foxes and little knickknacks and things I love, but they're also like. There's always, I feel like, a story, you know, this is, like, really good quality, something that will hopefully last me a long, long time. Um, another thing I got was this mug, um, not mug, to-go mug, it's both hot and cold, it's nice quality, I don't actually really have one, there's also some Reese's Peanut cup, Butter Cups in here, but I was kind of happy to get one of these, because I don't really have a good one. Um, I also got a TJ Maxx car, because I do love TJ from my um sister and her boyfriend and she's like i was like 50 bucks she you don't have to give me that much she's like it's actually 50 or 75 couldn't remember which i thought was really hilarious so there could be 75 dollars on this gift card which you know i'm really grateful to have that and then lastly there's a lemon tree i don't the store um it's so beautiful the things are definitely more expensive there but their stuff there is just absolutely beautiful and i saw this cologne when i was out with my mom shopping and i was like oh i love this I really like it, but it was kind of pricey, and then she ended up getting it from me, but I just love a good packaging again, you guys, me and my packaging, and I love the scent of it. It's not super strong, it's not over powerful by any means, which I love, because then I can wear it on a day-to-day -day basis, I mean, or just save for special occasions, but obviously can't smell it, but I almost feel like it's been better in the store. I don't know, I really love it. It's just a nice little... 
Beautiful little cologne. Perfect for me. And that's everything. I always ask not. for a new pair of slippers every year. Um, and luckily, these last me for a while, but recently they started um, getting in pretty rough shape. As you can see, like this starts happening. Um, and then, like this happening. So. Yeah, they just rip apart because like my mom doesn't buy like super wasn't buying me a super expensive one because every year my foot size would grow. Don't want to jinx it, knock on wood. My foot size I think has stopped growing. So she got me a nice pair of LL Bean, um, which is the really good quality stuff, and she got me some really nice good slippers, like nice quality, thick, um, fuzzies. So hopefully the fuzz obviously will over the time go down. But my mom has a pair of LL Bean slippers as well that just still to this day you put your foot in and feel so cozy versus those have beaten down and they are not comfortable whatsoever so i'm really excited to finally have like a really good quality pair That's a big nice. bag of goodies here kind of just compiled everything in a bag but i got this i think it's kind of like a book and um it's also like meant to be a pencil holder it looks like a vintage camera in this detail in this guys it's like so old and just dirty and rustic and i think it's so cool again i have a little bit of a thing for like cameras and stuff because you know with the youtube a little bit i mean i did get a real camera um but i thought it's so cool oh there's a piece of chocolate in there <laughs> um but yeah I, because right now the thing i have for my pencils and pens i don't really love um so i thought this would be really fun um to either use as a bookend or pencil holder or mix of both um, so there's that. I also got, I saw this on Amazon and I really loved it, is it's like a coffee mug, but it looks like a camera lens and it looks so realistic. I mean, even with like the blue, um, like lens piece, um, it's nothing really big, it's small, but it's perfect. Um, ooh, it doesn't sound beautiful, but I just love how realistic it looked. Um, and then let's see, something I asked for both. I my mom's at my dad's house, and my mom got me two of them because I told her I wanted two because I have two trees here, and the one tree at my dad's house um, is Christmas tree bags. Um, so she got me um, two of them. Both the same color because one here, I have two different trees. I wanted a green one for this room and a red bag for the tree out there, but since she only got, was only able to get me two red ones, I'm going to take one of these to my dad's house because I really need that tree to go in a bag, and this tree really needs to go in a bag as well so that... Um, so I think at least this year I'm gonna put this tree in this bag, um, unless tomorrow I may do an after, um, after holiday shopping, and if I don't, I still may ask my stepmom to grab one if she comes across one, because she will go without me, is get a green one for me, um, and so then I can put a green one here, just so I know the difference between the two different trees and, like, the theme of this room. I don't really do red, so, I don't know, just a thought. And then, let's see, I got a couple different, like, prints. One, this was, like, from a really cool, um, store and shop, um, craft store. I bought a couple of gifts, like, I bought my mom a pair of earrings, and I got my stepdad a little thing. But they have all this stuff, metal work, woodwork. Um, it's all done by, like, this guy, a couple people, like, craft stuff. It's so cool. It's hard to explain, but I got this photo that was taken of these three foxes, again... My thing for foxes, I just, it's just so beautiful and just so cool. So I'm definitely going to get a really good frame, maybe wooden or something. But I don't know, I just love foxes, especially when they're little babies. Um, and I also got another print, which is going to be hard to share. I won't, it's going to be, if I can get a picture of it, I'll share it. It's again, it's a puff, it's like a poster picture um, of a camera. And then, lastly, uh, again from my stepsister, she got me this little, um, Christmas decor piece, which is so, so beautiful. Um, it's this little, like, light-up, it looks like a little, like, j apothecary jar. Um, but it's just, like, this little, like, village, and I just think it looks so beautiful in the detail. A little fox, and it does light up, which I'm going to record right here, so I can't share with it with you, but... I was just so grateful to have that. Um, Alright, and then the very last thing that I did get was rain guards, but they're in a box that's really hard to get out, so I won't share it with you because it's nothing too exciting. But I got rain guards from a car because my car doesn't have any and kind of needed some. But that is everything I got here at my mom's house for Christmas. I hope you guys had a very wonderful and merry Christmas. I hope it went well. I hope your Christmas Eve was magical and fun. 
And I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on my Christmas day. And I wish you all in the new year. And I wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. And I cannot wait for what 2023 brings to us. Bye. <laughs>